there are aspects of my personality that I can't control. Target is in the overpass. And when I lose control, it's very dangerous to be around me. In the incredible Hulk, Edward Norton plays Bruce Banner, a scientist whose experiment with gamma radiation goes terribly wrong, turning him into a not-so-jolly green giant with anger management issues. Edward Norton took an active hand in making the project a reality, by co-writing a screenplay that went back to the basics of the character that fans love. The absolute sort of a gold standard of Hulk in the comics is Hulk versus the US Army. That was something that had, had been missing from other incarnations of it, just the, you know, a, a full on, uh, in the daylight, you know, um, knock down, drag out brawl between Hulk and all the hardware of the US Army. But it's not just the army that Bruce Banner and his green alter ego have to worry about. Remember me? Tim Roth plays Emil Blonsky, a power-hungry soldier who wants to be just as physically powerful as the Hulk, and in the process, becomes an abomination. You ready? Yeah. Let's even the playing field. What Blonsky becomes is the embodiment of what Banner doesn't want to have happen, which is for this thing inside of him to be replicated and turned into a, a weapon in a way. But there's a calming force in both Banner's life and the Hulk's as well, in the form of Liv Tyler, as Banner's loyal love interest, Betty Ross. I want you to come with me now. Please, come with me. Please. Betty has the totally unique quality of being able to look at Hulk and still see Bruce. Um, everybody else sees this, this, um, horrific force of rage. I think Liv has this fantastic quality of empathy. She's in many, many films that I've seen her in. I think the thing I'm always most drawn to about her is that she, she's, she's got this great kind of wordless um, sensitivity. But it'll take more than sensitivity to tame this beast called the Hulk. <laughs> 